So nothing can make you feel like a brand new person faster than a new color or a new style. There are so many big trends that are out there this summer from uh, redheads to blonde colors and different shades of blondes, even the return of bangs. I stopped by J. Michael's spot and salon recently to catch up with Jill Higginbotham uh, about which style is best for you. Take a look. Are you ready for a fresh new look? Finding a new style or maybe even a new color? can be an exciting journey. Well, holding our hand through this journey is Jill Higginbotham with J. Michael Spawn Salon because it is, it's a commitment. We see things, I think, on social media and we're like, yeah, I want that. But getting there sometimes, it's like, it's it's exciting. Great. Yeah. And exciting. Like I said, change your hair color, change your life. Yes, let's do. And that can be a big deal. And so we're going to start today with reds. Uh, uh, we are seeing so many amazing redheads come out. And so we have some great pictures of our work. So we'll start with kind of the author. Different shades, yeah. too. Right? Yeah. Definitely different shades. Like, trying out all of them. So we have Auburn Coppery Reds. These are so beautiful. They really go well with people with warm skin tones. Um, if you're someone who just wants to dabble into red, like uh, this is where try you start. It out. Yeah, this is where you can kind of try it out. Um, and they're beautiful, and of course they look vibrant in the sunlight, which I love. Then of course we have our burgundy red. Woo. Oh, burgundy red is so beautiful. It's one of my Boy. favorite colors. And if you rock that red, I mean, it is a show stopper, right? Right. Um, and it's great to get to that color. Burgundy red does have an easier transition for people with darker hair. Uh -huh. So if you have naturally darker hair, going burgundy is actually a good option for you because it's not as much of a commitment, right? And then finally, if you want to go all in red, full commitment red, uh, we have a great picture of Jessica Adamson, lead singer of the Wax Factory, and she has bright red hair, aerial hair, red extensions. I mean, she goes all in and it looks gorgeous. And I love it because now you can kind of rock these amazing, vibrant colors in every workplace. Yeah. You know, we're seeing that that rule change and then I think it's fabulous. Aerial hair is a great description yes. of it, right? Yes. And I mean, we all, we have lots of blondes, especially we always think of like going more blonde during the summer. In years past, we've seen that trend towards more of a platinum. You're seeing it kind of pulled back now. Yes. And it's exciting. Yeah. Platinum is fun. It's hard to get. It's hard to maintain, right? Because you tone in platinum and it easily fades out. So we're going back to these beautiful, warm honey blondes. Some people are calling them bronze. Have a nice transition. So it's still some of that grown out look. If you're someone who doesn't want that full commitment of a head full of highlights, like, yeah, I have. Um, this so much up really, yeah, this is a really good way to transition into blonde without really going for it. And it's much gentler on the hair. So I love that. And it just has that beautiful dimension to it that just looks more natural. All right, so we've all seen a shag or two on, on Instagram or just that curtain bang, and I'm almost there, Jill. Yeah. Oh, I, 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 I want to try it so bad. I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I might see me with it next time. <laughs> but a lot of people call it the shag or the Rachel. It's come back now. A lot of times it's being called the wolf cut. So we have great pictures of this. You can do it long or short. You can be really dramatic. We can do it with a razor. The best part is you can put bangs with it, and bangs are coming back. Yeah. Or for anyone not from the US, the French, as we call them in the industry, you're getting a little fringe around your face. They can be the long curtain bangs, swoopy, anything beautiful. Uh, with the bangs too, I love, like you mentioned, kind of more that swoopy because you can like pull it off to the side. Yeah. You can pull it back into a ponytail. And we're right. doing center part and side part bangs. Side again. out again? Yay. So I say the side part bangs are back. So if you're like me and you remember the early 2000s and you were kind of walk, rocking the side yeah. swoop. Yeah. It is back, lady. It is back. Let's do it. All right. To have your consult, if you want to consult first, I think it's a really good idea to see sure. if the tones are right for you and find that style, that shag that fringe that may be right for you too, just head on over to jmichaelspawnsalon.com.